Hi, Aries. It's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your April 26th weekly reading. Please just take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't. Let's go ahead and get started. Everything will be listed down below if you guys are interested. So let's take a look and see what is your weekly energy? What is the weekly theme for Aries for the week of April 26th? What is your weekly theme coming through? Well, that's the one that wants to pop out. So we'll take it. We have party of one. Okay. So there's something about, you know, maybe being on your own, just kind of doing your own thing. Maybe this is going to change this week. Let's see what Tarot wants to say. What are the messages here for party of one? Okay. So that right there is party of one. Nine of keys in this deck, you guys, is the nine of pentacles. If you know tarot, nine of pentacles is the card of independence. That's why I named this card self-reliant. We're just doing our own thing this week and that's okay. And we have the ace of arrows, which is the ace of swords. It's very stimulating. We're not bored either. There's a lot of things that might be coming to us in the form of ideas or inspiration. Maybe we're actually having conversations with other people, but we're not necessarily feeling lonely. And strength, <laughs> that's right there, Leo's card. So we have some Leo's energy coming through for Aries. So a lot of strength, a lot of inner power this week. We're feeling really on fire. We are just feeling like we can take on the world with this energy. So if you guys haven't been feeling this, you guys are about ready to feel that this week. So it's a very, very powerful energy. All right, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything that's challenging up us this week. What's coming through is the form of a challenge. Okay, so we have unlovable, interesting. So I kind of feel like this is an old energy. This is something that you're no longer struggling with. So let's see what this is about. Oh yeah, see, you're you're not losing any more time on things that, you know, your past. Six of sorrows, the six of cups in this deck, lost in time somewhere, ghosts of the past, feeling unlovable, feeling like, you know, because someone is gone, that somehow we are unlovable people. That's what I'm getting here is that that's no longer the story. You have graduated from the story. Yes. See six of rage is six of wands, victory and success. You're breaking those chains. So whatever has been binding you from the past, you're, you were missing someone or someone has exited your life, or we are mourning for something from the past. I'm getting here. We're breaking through that. And you have done the work is what I'm seeing here. You have done the work. You have gotten through something. Yeah. So now we have here the uh, dictator of decay, which is the king of pentacles in this deck, power lust. We may realize here that what we give power to or what we're lusting after, this creates a lot of energy, whether it's negative or positive, uplifting or not. You realize that you have given enough of your power to something or someone of your past and you're taking back your power this week, you guys. You are no longer going to be this little frail creature that feels weak and pathetic like you just can't go on. Oh no, baby, you have taken back your power this week. So that is the theme of this reading this week. You have taken back your power. You are no longer going to waste time on people that are not in your present moment. And you are basically going to put more of your energy and power and time into things that actually matter. And that is you. Oh my gosh. I love this for you guys. So now let's go ahead and go into what's how is spirit assisting us this week? How is spirit assisting us this week? Let's take a look. Oh, two, two, two partnerships and balance. Interesting. So this is quite the opposite of just that single energy. It says, pay attention to new people that are entering your life. Take time to balance your time and energy and existing ones. I love this because what spirit's telling you with this two, two, two. So if you guys are seeing a lot of twos this week, this is spirit's way of telling you that you're actually ready to start a new phase in partnership. So if you've been alone, you've spent enough time alone, healing and doing your own thing. And because you don't necessarily need to have someone, that's almost like the vibration of somebody that's going to come in. So some of you are attracting a new person either this week or you are just prime and ready for this. Mm -hmm. Your angels are definitely coming through with blessings this week and answered prayer is coming, something that you've been praying and hoping for, but it's not in the vibration of desperation. It's I'm ready. I've done the work. I've healed. I'm ready to go spirit. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Let's get an affirmation. 
adversity. I accept my current challenges as an opportunity to grow and learn something new about myself and to correct any behaviors of my own that may need adjusting. You guys realize that whatever didn't work out here with maybe someone or something else from the past, it has actually made you a stronger person. You are ready to now move mountains. You are ready for a new adventure. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. And last message. We have make a choice. See, now you can make choices for yourself. It's like people are not people are no longer making choices for you. Spirit is actually not making choices for you anymore. You're making your own choices. You're making your own destiny. You're making things happen. And what is ahead of you are wonderful and amazing things on the horizon. So blessings are on the horizon for you when it comes to new people entering your life. I hope that you guys enjoy that reading. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.